This is my Harbor Freight U.S. General 56-inch toolbox. As you can see, I've got a metal lathe sitting on top of it. I've been using this setup for a couple years now, and one of the biggest aggravations is uh, with the drawers, with the drawer locks specifically. Now, I don't like the slide catches that are down here. See, that keeps the doors locked. You want to open the drawer, you have to slide that and then open it. Never like that. It's a pain in the butt. This is uh, what they look like. They're just little pieces of plastic on a spring. And that's how they lock in place. Well, I don't like that. Um, I'm in and out of the drawers uh, all day long, several times a day. Uh, and using these is a pain in the butt. So uh, I took them off. And uh, that way I can just slide the doors uh, open without having to mess anything, specifically uh, right from the middle, uh, which is where you're supposed to pull a drawer open. Problem with that is the lathe vibrates as it runs and the doors slide open. Now I stand on this little pallet here and all day long I'm working on the lathe and the drawers slide open against my, my legs or my thighs or whatever. So a solution, I needed a solution. And the quickest thing I came up with was shoving these wedges just in between, in between the drawers, just like so. Uh, which does work, holds them in place, uh, but is, is hokey, and not to mention you have to pull the wedges out before you open the drawer, um, and it's just, just not a real fix. So what I came up with was magnetic catches. Now these are, Just uh, round magnets that I found. Uh, this one's actually from the Harbor Freight uh, floor magnet pickup tool. Um, I found ones that are a little bit nicer. They look exactly the same, a little bit harder pull uh, on Amazon, and I'll have that link here in a second. And what I did, what I came up with was oh, God, that's heavy. This guy. As you can see, it's just uh, bolted right through the back of the drawer. A uh, bunch of washers. Uh, you got to have a uh, that spacer there. Uh, there's that much of a gap. Oops. There's that much of a gap uh, when the door's closed. So the spacer's required so that the magnet actually touches the steel of the back of the box. And I've got to put a lock washer on that. But that's all it is. It's real simple. Works real well. Okay, I'm going to open this drawer that has uh, no latches or magnets of any kind. We'll see what kind of pull it takes. That was two pounds. Uh, what's the, oh, it's kilograms. Uh, so five pounds. I took about five pounds. Just about five. Now I've got a magnet on this second one here. Let's see how much it takes. I don't know if you're able to see that, but it was about 30, 35 pounds. Or, nah, about 30. I've got it on this top drawer, much bigger, much bigger drawer. Five pounds on that one. These are rated at 95 pounds on Amazon. It's a two pack of 95 pound rated magnets. 